So in this video, I'm going to be installing the operating system Orion. So this is the Orion website. So there's a desktop standard version, which is the Orion line R2, and there's a business version. I'm going to download the desktop standard version. So I'm going to install the desktop standard version and I'm going to be installing it in a desktop computer. So I booted up the computer with a USB drive. So this is the welcome screen. I'm going to skip taking a tour and I'm going to say no thanks. I'll select install the hard drive. So this is the default wallpaper. It's a lime green. So the language is English. I'm going to continue. So this is the installation summary. I select the installation destination. So the hard drive is already selected. It must have that check mark on it. I'll select done. I have to select done again. So this is the user settings. Now I'm going to select the root password. I'll type a root password. I'll select done. And I have to do it again. I'll select user creation. And I'll create a user account. I'll make this user administrator and require a password to use the account. So I'll type the password. I'll click done. And I'll click on begin installation. So these are some of the details here. It is based on Alma Linux. So here are some differences between the business version and the standard version. So on the standard version, there is no LibreOffice, but on the business version, LibreOffice is installed. Okay, so installation is complete. I'm going to reboot this computer. Okay, I'm going to log in. I'll click on the applications menu. This is all applications. I'll click on favorites. There's nothing on frequent apps. This is accessories. This is games. So Lutris is installed. This is graphics. Inkscape is installed and GIMP is installed. I'll open GIMP. I'll select Internet. So there's Firefox, Hex Chat, Remote Viewer. You can access remote desktops with Remote Viewer. This is Office. So LibreOffice is not installed, but there is Evolution. So this is Evolution and this is a mail client. This is sound and video. This is Brazero, cheese, videos. I'll select videos. This is System Tools, and these are some of the tools. There's Virtual Machine Managers. I'll open HTOP. I'll open Virtual Manager.
I'll open Utilities. So I'll open Image Viewer. I'll open Document Viewer. This is Wine. So these are some of the apps. So on the panel, there's Firefox. This is the version, it's 115.7 ESR. This is the files folder. This is the software app. And here you can browse the software. So they are listed by categories. This is the installed. This is updates. You can also search for apps here. I'll type Discord. So Flatpak is not installed. So I'm going to download and install Flatpak. So I installed Flatpak and I had to reboot the computer. So I'll open back this software app. And I'll search for Discord. So Flatpak was installed. So I'll right click the desktop and I'll change background. So these are some of the wallpapers. This is the default wallpaper. So this is the settings menu. This is network. This is online accounts, sharing, sound, power settings, I click on users. This is default applications. Date and time settings. This is about. So the GNOME version is 40.4.0. I'll right click the panel. And I have these options here. System monitor. I'll click on dash to panel settings.
This is the panel length settings. So I'll open the terminal app. I'm going to type uname dash r. So the kernel version is 5.14.0. So I'm going to check how many packages I install. I'm going to run a DNF command. So to do that, I'll type DNF lists installed type wc dash l. So it's 1,702 packages installed. So these are the specs, the kernel version 5.14.0. The shell is bash. The desktop environment is GNOME 40.10. So this was just a quick look of the operating system Orion. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.